Um, Cindy Von Beckler, and I'm the Township Board Rep to the Planning Commission. Tracy, are those the same documents that we posted on our website that you would have sent to Dave? Um, some of them. So, uh, I shared the same document that I need to do or not. See progress. Well, that's not my computer screens. Those terms mean so that everybody's on the same. And then I'll move it. 
um, foods, foods around housing, move housing forward in our county and in our communities, and that there are some things that are not people over, um, but there are things that are might be like Build awareness on housing and capacity. Oh, <laughs> expand capacity that our communities will be in find solutions that are unique to them that um, help with their housing needs. So, um, question. Excuse me. We also are controlling one sector of housing. We do not have the time with all the different levels. That's the um, our community it has a component. Um, and these are just three sort of other um, education advocacy, um, other things that work on our locations, but they think in terms of. Um, Really different than rural funding. Or really different than urban funding for rural. So there are things that um, are different here locally than we do in Grand Rapids or Detroit. So we're going to see how we get capacity. So I'm mostly getting work with all within the 10 counties that the housing home serves, but my focus is more. Um, I grew up in this and I'm very familiar in Benson County as well, but those are my um, two main focuses. Other, um, not so very high, I spread out the way for the land for um, housing rehabilitation for the city. I'm trying to help me into that grant. Um, so I've done um, grants for master's. For um, other capacity building tools for other um, townships and villages. So I do a lot of things with that grace. Long background that's the federal um, government. So um, I will help with if somebody is talking about wanting to develop property and help with that, make this a reality and work. I'll work with a developer. And talk them through some of the different housing tools, like those are little case studies that I um, gave here. Um, I may work with um, a bit of the government on short term rentals. No, that's not covered. So that's one of the things that um, I provide resources for. What I can also do, and this is, I don't know how. North doesn't have to build houses. Don't go in housing. Um, but what I can say is I have a background in um, I have a background in um background in human services as well. So know a lot of resources and be there we can call me um to help But that's not not in my practice. Oh, yeah. So I live in the and I live in the So this has a lot of today. Um, I will end with an invite to our houses that's um, in October. And then I'll talk just briefly about our regional housing plan as a part of the so what I wanted to make sure that everybody um, was aware is the different areas of housing. So there's affordable housing, 
which is everything under 80% area median income. And then there is for the for um at one, which is the it's either attainable housing, workforce housing, or missing middle housing. And that's individuals that are in the 120% and or if so I have to give you a better idea of what that is and what that looks like. And then the final sector um the housing I can see is micrograde and that's so on the bottom I think what you analyze So that's my plan. And I have this. But I just want to do so much. Okay, so nice. Yes. Um, to a hundred and five. Uh, that would be hundred percent. Move on. Right. Um. See if you don't mind me stopping you for a second. I just want to confirm something I think you said, which might help our secretary. We're going to be able to have this presentation right now. Right? So. Okay. Um, um, but that was my next two. Uh, that eight percent and over one person is forty one thousand dollars, um, up to thirty and twenty percent is one hundred and twenty six thousand seven hundred and twenty. That obviously the middle of the road um, for a four person, 120% AMI is 90%. And then the what I learned, what I learned for five in terms of what is the maximum rent based on the AMI number of people in households, um, that is that. Um, More than thirty percent of the Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop reading um,
It sounds sort of ambiguous when you talk about the AMR, the numbers out there. It's still um, concepts to frame. Right? So, um, social housing, workforce housing, that is in the middle, that um, is sort of a mystery that um, traditional that sector. Did not only substitute the or anything like that, but they are very they have the job. The current time we're in in a 40 house of being in a board house. So these are the elements of that are. July 
and this is the of um, brain check mark. So if you really want to you know, go deep in and see and what they put forward, you can do that for us. So it um done um last year. Um it then took down it made um the right then drilled down and um at the very last time I have the Lake Tahoe North website which has the uh, um, you can go through that and get the uh, full report, which the report is like five and some pages. The report for Manson County is like 150 pages. So you're welcome to kind of dive in deeper, but I'm just going um, to stay at the level right now. If you have questions, ask them from, from them. Um, our housing, our total housing gap is 1,902 new units needed. And the majority of units that they're looking for are homeowner units, home, home owned units. And I'm going to ask that 500 new rental units. Are. Is that it's really hard to build a single family that is pretty difficult unless you're in that market rate that's half a million dollar homes or more. So, but we think that's what our community needs because, and that's based on the, the wants and desires of most people in our community. They want to be a homeowner, they don't necessarily want to live in. Our county. Um, but if there aren't going to be homes available, new homes or homes brought back online, then we're going to have to have new prevention units available in the upcoming that we need for 1,900 units. Um, so, I have a question. Oh, and when I say new, if there are units that are um, rehabs and they now have working plumbing that works and they come back on, that could be considered a new unit. Um, we just have to be building. Uh, if it was um, something that was a short term rental and turned it over to the long term, then that would be considered a new unit. So, be constructed, but there are some that can be done to rehab in other ways. Does the housing needs assessment show methodology used to determine that? It does, but then the big survey would go through that. Survey is Okay, but it's okay. Okay, that's your survey and methodology. But yes, that's how I can have a large got five hundred. So I did provide. The breakdown in central area and the housing where um, units are needed. The one thing, the other thing I would say, there aren't people for um, the missing middle or that 120% in mind. Then they're going to units that may have worked for. Under that percent AMI. I don't know if that makes sense. If it's something in a forward market rate, so 
they have somewhere to live. They're going to need that resource. That's why we talk about needing resources for our cost of sex. I mean, market rate can afford to live in market rate. We don't want them to be the missing middle. Or So it's not the full triple and the meaning of appropriate levels all throughout the different sectors. So um, I just grabbed those some information about the demographics. So we see overall since the flight to bar. That's pretty much the board. However, there'll be 0.2 percent growth in home, and that's um, for things like so, whatever, um, he's visiting the restaurant, which is in the book. So, that's growth that happened. This is the same property, but the living succession because they can't afford to have two separate houses for, um, so it's back and forth. So, the population is changed, but now we need a two separate house. That's how we're getting into that picture. Yeah, um, interesting to know everybody's name is on the right side. Um, senior home is on the right side. Next one, right? Mm -hmm. Five and older. Um, the possibilities and um, our not. And then after. The seniors homes make up, I think it's 50 percent in America. So they want to share with us about information. Um, asset limited income. So that would be the common level is 43 percent. And I thought this was very interesting. Um, in the Gangtown region. So, um, the actual was built on the 1960. And 4.5% of the homes have been considered the unsafe and unhappy living conditions. And this is why they afford the leases on higher than anywhere in the state. And then also the the um the big points of very which I hope I would be about two point three percent um in this becoming Mm -hmm. Like, right now, but when I want to say, I'm um, 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 wow, that's in the subdivision, right? Of uh, what's going on, 14,500. The median was two hundred and fifty. And the second line the original our house would be at 250,000 for four lives. Mm -hmm. Large discrepancy in the world. So, right now, um, and the $250,000 is a lot of pieces that go up to that for home ownership because it's just not bad. The house got that. It's a new recording. Infrastructure is the problem. Let's say there are um, duplex 
in order to build, uh, those tools are um, for the mass. Um, it needs to be like the next or um, multi unit apartments or higher data. The that um, will help you um, on our grants. So we're looking at other looking at a um, funding gap for small developers. Um, that will be able to announce um, in the work producing centers or individual designers, 24%. Um, we are working on some priorities that would um, change when grants are written so that when multi units would score higher because there are things that. Um, why you can receive a grant because we are in the urban area, which um, traditionally that's how it's written. So we've done some work with that. Um, we have also done um, some work with um, state credit funds, state or um, our region as a money that for housing. Um, and this is the section that I'm going to go to um, share but you'll have to discuss. There are um, a number of things that can assist um, in the community, which Frankfurt has a great model for our community grant us. Um, and it's um, well below the $250,000 range, um, and it keeps those homes affordable in perpetuity. So the owner will have a small um picture of me, but it will still be considered whole um affordable. Our deregistration programs uh can assist with that um and that 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 checklist that any barriers and um tips that um that and frame it without urban design. Um, I think it's through the map, um, Michigan, you know, fans of joining the San Diego did I ask them that? Because that has great ideas, uh, but to look for and how to um, relieve some of the questions. And uh, and I can still think that it's three, four hundred things back. So, um, <laughs> but he's not going to be holding down your message. Um, the other thing that people have brought up is that it's for housing. And since for housing is allowed people to take a job that um, would be their gap for instance, the, the the piece that would be their gap have housing in that missing middle section. So that would be and the middle housing for a multi million dollar house. More invested in it and then it's not. Around that back plan, the cost of us. But it has to be approved by your local government. So, um, that's more. 
Um, there's the pilot and the neighborhood enterprise zone. Then they have some new districts that are attainable on this Um, that was part of the response by the social service partners program. Um, um, this is what is wanting at right here. That was great. They, I think, they four units. Okay, um, so, uh, this kind of the outline of those um, new housing units that help that be um, 80 1% you know, and part of that um, summary bill has to be people above a certain age, so they would have. Rental of housing units with a order statement and incentives. Um, under each one of these options that's underlined, there is a link and you have all the of um, how to do those different zones. Walk those zones or private ordinances or not. But again, I'm going to skip these because I know there's a couple other things on the agenda. Um, so if you ever want to talk about any of these things, for example, um, if you have a pilot ordinance, you have to have a pilot ordinance completed. And vote on by November of each in order to be qualified for Michelle for the following years. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is, um, okay. I've worked as the AG for a um, yes. I'm also working on. Well, lots of projects there. Um, and the residential facilities exemption for um, the city. Um, okay, yes. And I have seen. This summarizes the whole um, And this talks about the um, tax impact financing that I talked briefly about. But you later has to be financing the housing care with the entrance from the residential outdoor facilities district. And if you follow it for it, you can see. Um, there are examples of schools and um, the areas that they were created in. We want to be specific to all those that were created. There are some studies about why those, why we did this for many years. I'll just let you include that information. So 
Person, 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 person
that's you know something you could change with you know that's yeah. um, that's not that's where you are but you can put things that would move you in that direction and remove those obstacles in there And Or the office, come back and keep it at the level. This is the local. The the process for them um, is not
There are some parts of northern Michigan, but this um something called slug Yeah. So um they are utilizing that sort of like a community um walk um There we go. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will do it. I will do it.
Working a small grain parcel. And in some cases, in residential, in more square footage, more grain parcel. So, to set up the therapy. Um, yeah, you can do it. Well, it's more Thank 
Make it the motion for. <laughs> 